the Democratic Party. The Democratic Party is like the long shadow of the Republican Party across the sidewalk and part of the lawn. It's like a bit of orange paint added to the black paint can of the Republican Party to give it a hint of warmth and gray. It is like the image in a mirror, a reflection of a smiling corporation making out 40 cent paychecks across the Mexican border. It is the footprint where a Republican congressman stepped in our flower bed while we were asleep. The Democrats are the stains in a toilet bowl in the White House in these years of Republican power. The Democratic Party is the broken piece from a child's, a child's doll thrown to earth by an angry parent. It is the gentle beginning of the traditional nightmare that ends in such horror. It is the footman who opens the door of the Republican carriage after the invasion of a Caribbean island. The Democratic Party is the stuntman who stabs a foreign president on behalf of the American president and who can say pardon me in every language. If this party is a cadaver wearing rouge and lipstick with its eyes propped open in the rotunda shown to troops of school children on Sundays as proof that we have two political parties. It is the orderly who empties wastebaskets on Wall Street while the junk bond dealers laugh as they leave work at the end of the day. It is the mood, the mold on a billion dollars held in a bank account for the elderly pending congressional action. This party is the black mask worn by the hangman to show his delicacy on the face, in the face of death. It is the clown mask worn by burglars who steal our lives. The Democratic Party is a performing dummy, a Charlie McCarthy sitting on the lap of the world's richest man. It is the dead life of rivers and lakes after 18 years of equivocation on the problem of acid rain. It is the headstone of our hopes, the tablets on the grave filled with rhetoric carved in granite. It is the decay, the decline of the immune system of our people, our society, now sinking toward its final days in the 22nd century. August 1992.